Hello, 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 ladies and girls. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Alright, so. Uh, I guess we could do the upgrade. Putting some water cooling stuff in there. All of that good stuff. Uh, let's remove this panel. Um, there we go. Okay, so sick P. You also wanted plastic red cable, so I will need to remove every single cable in here. Yay. <laughs> Enthusiastic, I know. Oh, I can't use a paint so. Alright, put a little bit of thermal goop on there. And other than that, I think it was it just was the water cooling stuff. So Might as well get a start on it and put this up here because that looks nice all right and the reservoir all right there always the problem of finding the mounting spots All right. And we also had one fan we needed to put in here. That was a Rajintech. And this one is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Man, I kind of wish I had a 141 there though. Well, I guess I could remove this one in the back and it would probably look less awkward that way too. Okay, and let's see, it was plastic red? Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess it's the other way around now. <laughs> All right. Don't say it matters too much. Yeah, uh, let's make sure we actually connect these up. They are kind of important. Because without them, this thing ain't gonna work. Okay. There we go. Let's see. There should be... Uh, 
Aha, perfect. Okay, let's see. I think I have connected every single cable right now. Okay, I guess that leaves two bin. All right, like so. And from here to there. So. Straighten that one out a little bit. And then it's only these two. All right, cool. Coolant, and I think I'm gonna get some opaque red to fit in with the cables and stuff that you have. Oh, this seems fair. Yeah, <laughs> fair. All right, put it in. And uh, I guess put the rest of this back on. All right, and the beauty panel. So, okay, that looks great. Probably gonna look even better when we turn the RGB on. All right, let's make it pretty. All right. Let's see if we can get up to 4.9. And we're booting off of that M.2. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, I'll need to get even higher than that. Uh, okay, well, we still need to install our software. So we're uh, going to do that and then we're going to increase it. I'm pretty sure we will be able to get up to 5 gigahertz though. Here we go, restart, thank you very much. Alright, now I just need to make sure it's all good. Temps are looking fine. Just make sure we ain't got any issues with power limitations, which we do. Alright. That's why we run these tests. We know to increase the voltage. Alright, let's increase it a little bit, see what happens. See if we're good or not, or all around. Alright, here we go. And we look to be fine. And that is about 89 degrees. <laughs> it's pretty much our limit. Cool. All right. Might as well try and get some out of the GP2. Uh, before I do that. Okay. All right. Well, it's a thousand watts. Yeah. We ain't got no issues here. Only issue I can see is that this is a AMD GPU. 
So it's probably not gonna overclock too well. Um, let's see, can I get a hundred out of it? Yeah, I have bad luck with overclocking these GPUs. I guess I've gotten too used to the NVIDIA ones. Because with those, like, yeah, 300 megahertz, no problem. Well, these you can't go too far with. Which kind of suck. At the same time, I guess they are close to what their limitations are when you buy them. That means there ain't a whole lot of headroom there. You're getting the most performance. Or, well, almost. Alright, let's see. We're getting up there. This seems to be doing pretty well. Better than I expected. Wow, 222. That's almost a little ironic. Alright. I'm gonna put a wall view into red light. Um Let's see, is it this one that is the text? Yeah, I want that to be white because it looks so weird when it's red. I don't really know what it is, but it throws me off. And it makes it look bad somehow. Alright, well, let's get a score on this. We did everything you asked of us, and we have a... 50 bucks remaining in the budget. I'd say we did pretty darn good here. Pretty darn good indeed. Mm, nah, I don't feel like tackling that one right now. I was thinking if I should replace the motherboard, but... Mm, nah. Not at this time. Let's see, and I think I needed a Kaby Lake motherboard. That is a Sky Lake one. I think I've forgotten to keep my eyes peeled on that one. Because that is for this piece. I don't have one of those. I shouldn't have. Yeah, the only one I have is this one, and that is an EACX, and that one fit in that case. Yeah, and the cheapest one of these are 170 and uh, and a budget of 160. So yeah, really need to be a used one. Uh 4981. Yeah. It's that GPU pulling it down quite a bit too. It's almost a little sad. I mean, you, you got good stuff in there. Just replace that GPU and you would have yourself a golden piece. Alright, doing the collection. 
custom water cooling for my CPU is great, and they put in some uh, new cables for me. Of course we do, bud. Of course we do. Alright, well, with that, I'm at the end of this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!